Well, we just thought it would be something a bit different. Oh, yeah, it's different, all right. I never expected to spend my night like this in a drafty old community centre with Miss Apple Pie there struck me stuff. Well, this sort of thing's really popular nowadays. Yeah, who is? It's getting really big. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Ricketts was very big around here once upon a time. Although you do have to be a certain age to appreciate that, I expect. A certain age? Young at art, at least. Are you trying to say I'm past it? No, I'm saying, what else can we expect from Lady Flaming Muck? Lady who? I told them you'd stick your toffee nose up in the air at all this. My toffee? I said Peggy Mitchell used to be fun. Yeah, and she still is. Nowadays, she's a right royal pain in the backside. Give me those pom-poms. So, uh, where is she? She's still in the club. Listen to me, listen, listen. <laughs> Look, I was, I was thinking, um, maybe I should call her first, just so the first time we see each other we've already spoken. Danielle. We, you know, just to break the ice. She's not in the club. What? Uh, she just wants to meet somewhere more private. Where? Come on. Come on, I'll show you. Billy's family. He said we could use the place. Uh, well, where's Ronnie? Well, actually, it was me that wanted somewhere private. What do you mean? I didn't think it was right out on the street. I thought once she knew... I mean, I expected all sorts. Tears. Anger. All I got. She just doesn't want to know. She told us something that must have blown the whole world apart, and all she did was sit there and say she didn't want to know. Well, she said other things, of course. Like what? How just the thought of a kid out there, how it totally freaked her. So she'd prefer her own kid dead. Oh, of course, that's not what she would have wanted. But, you know, when she got that letter, it made things simple. And she still thinks that now she knows the truth. I thought I could work on her, make her see things different. But, you know, she just went straight back into her shell. So what am I supposed to do now? I've been thinking about that. Crawl away into my shell too? Hide in a hole because I make the place a bit messy? Of course not. What well, does she not think? She's made my life a mess by having me in the first place and then giving me up! Daniel, just listen to what I'm going to say. Well, she can tell me that herself. You are? Well, she owes me that at least, don't you think? She can look me in the eye and say, I thought you were dead and I was better off thinking it too. You can't say that. And what about Amy? What about her? Well, just because she doesn't want to know me, she can't speak for her too. She's my cousin. My own flesh and blood. Danielle. Look, I've already lost one baby. I can't lose her too. She can't speak for her. Or for Peggy. Or Roxy. I'm part of this family, OK, if she likes it or not. What are you doing? 